Hmm. Hey, look, there's some good timing. You caught me grabbing a cup of co- a, a sip of coffee. That's okay, though, because that's what we're talking about this morning on 7 Minutes in the Morning. Stick around. That was the wrong button. Hey, everybody, good morning. Welcome to this installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host for the next seven-ish minutes or so. Got to try and keep it short today so I can get out to do the radio show. Listen, when you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay. <coughs> Excuse me. Do me a favor. Do what Cliff just did. Leave a comment. Say hi. Say good morning. Let me know that you're here. And if and only if you get any value from our time together today, Give this video a like and share it out with your network. Now, if you happen to be listening elsewhere, like um, <clears throat> TuneIn, iTunes, SoundCloud, YouTube, good grief. <clears throat> Whew. If you happen to be listening in any of those venues, head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com so you can get to the right place. Might have to keep it short today so that I don't have an allergy attack here on the show. Oh, these whole, whole allergies, man. I don't know what's going on with those. Good morning, Jessica. Uh, like a fan. Actually, there is a fan running in the background. Hang on. Okay, now the fan's turned off. I don't know if that solves the sound problem or not. I hope that it does. Uh, if it's like a buzz, let me know if it's like a little buzz in the background. Um, I have heard that before and I'll see what I can do about fixing that. All right. So, uh, so this morning I wanted to talk a little bit about timing, about timing. So, um, yesterday we were talking about bug splat and how sometimes, uh, sometimes, as you're driving down the road, get this big bug, splats on the windshield, draws all of your attention to it. Here's what I want you to think about. Sort of metaphysical, but, but we'll see. Um, George, you're a hoot. If you're driving down the road, you hit this bug, splat on the windshield. If you were one second faster or one second slower, you wouldn't hit the bug. Um, <clears throat> okay, thanks, Justin. So, so as you're as you're driving, timing, at least as it relates to bug splat, timing is everything, right? Being in the same space at the same time creates this intersection between you and, and the bug's path. So now to get off the of bugs and get on to what we're really here to talk about. How the, the difference between something being a bug splat on your business or your life windshield and it missing you completely could be seconds. Here's another example. I think I, I, think I shared this not too long ago. I know I shared it somewhere. A few years ago, our youngest daughter had a car wreck. Messed her up pretty bad. She's trying to cross the highway. Got T-boned. And she realized, even when we were um, in the hospital talking about it afterwards, you know, she's like, you know, I was at home, I was playing with the dog, throwing the tennis ball for her to go get it and come back. She brought it back to me, and I said, no, nope, no, nope, have to go. If I'd thrown the ball one more time, then I wouldn't have been there. And I'm like, yeah, I know. There are so many things. If you'd driven one mile an hour slower, you wouldn't have been there. That, that intersection would not have occurred. So, so here's what I want you to think about today. The things that happen, the things that, that hit your windshield that are bug splat, they are, could be distractions for life or business. What if they'd happened last year or next year? Or last month or next month? 
See, sometimes the things that, that hit us right now, they're hitting us at the wrong time. That doesn't mean they are the wrong thing to do, and that's how they become distractions. Oh, man, this is a great opportunity. I would love to you know, sell my service to uh, or, or be the featured product on Amazon. Yeah, that's a great opportunity, except there's no possible way that you could scale to meet that demand. Oh, maybe there is. I'm using that as an example. If you can't scale to meet that demand, then that's not a great opportunity, no matter how good it looks. The timing is not correct. That doesn't mean that it won't be a good opportunity next year. In fact, if, if that opportunity presents itself today, maybe it's an indication you need to get ready for this because next year at Christmas time, next year at the 4th of July, next year, you know, whenever, the same set of circumstances are going to come back around. You should prepare. Take the next year to prepare and be ready for that. So just because something looks like a, a, a bug splat on the windshield, don't dismiss it. Don't just go out and you know, scrape it off and be done with it. Consider, is this the right time? Is the timing right for this? Right? Did, I, did I hit this at the right time? That's how we can tell. I, I get the question very often, and here's kind of why I, I got into this in the first place. I get the question all the time. How can I tell the difference between a distraction and an opportunity? Well, the, the, the easy way, the first way, is does it take you toward the outcome that you're trying to create? That's the very first question. But then the second question, it might. Being the featured product on the you know front page of Amazon deals, that's a, that's a great opportunity. But can you scale to meet it? The, the timing still has to be right. So just because it happens doesn't mean it's a distraction. It could be just a timing issue. Look at it in terms of, is this a hint of what is to come? Right? And then factor that in. All right. George has a question. <laughs> Well, if it hits your windshield, sometimes you have to take it. So, look, an opportunity. Opportunity is just a set of circumstances. That, that's it. Even if you look it up in the dictionary, that's what it'll say. That, that it's a set of circumstances. So, those are be you know, to the best extent we can, we try to be prepared for all the circumstances that might come up. If something is new or unexpected, then here you go. All right, today is Tuesday. I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, if it was, let me know in the comments. And as I asked a little bit earlier, do share. I would appreciate that tremendously. It's Tuesday. That means radio show is coming up in about, well, really about an hour. Then start till 7 after. Uh, but I'm going to pack all this up, try to get down there in time to do the radio show so that we can continue this conversation there. TalkRadioForEntrepreneurs.com or if you want to listen live, in and around Huntsville at uh, 1450 AM and 1053 FM. That FM number has changed. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for being here today. Now let's see if I can hit the right button to do the outro. You guys have a great day.